It is possible that you already know a lot about focusing. Maybe you don't know much. In any case, I want to invite you on a journey that will change the way you practice focusing. I want to invite you on a journey to discover how the natural states that we all human beings have of focused attention and unfocused attention are really what is at the root of what makes focusing work. If you think about it, when you hear the word focusing, it evokes the sense of very focused beam of light, like a laser. Very, very, very focused. So focused that it's very powerful. It cuts through really tough materials. But of course, that's not what focusing is about. Focusing starts with unfocusing. Letting go of that sense of, you know, really mm, tight focus, I know. Focusing starts with, hmm, I don't know. The pause. That's what started Jendlin on discovering focusing. But it's really good to know that we're not talking about forcing things. What we're talking about is seeing, understanding the natural processes of the organism that are behind the way focusing spontaneously occurs in order to ride them, to tap into them. You notice I'm using the word ride them, just like a surfer rides the waves. You ride a wave, the wave is there. You follow it skillfully. As you follow the wave skillfully, it allows you to stand in balance on the surfboard and to move. You're not creating the wave. You're not going against the wave. You understand the wave. You sense it. And as you sense it, you're one with it. And it carries you. And your skill enables you to stay with it and move gracefully. So what I'm talking about here is understanding these processes of the human organism. You notice I'm talking about unfocusing and refocusing unfocusing, refocusing. And you notice how that is reminiscent of, for instance, the way we breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. When you inhale, expand. When you exhale, contract. Expansion, contraction. You notice how that is also similar to the heartbeat. Expansion, contraction. Expansion, contraction. That's what sends the blood circulating in the body. This is the rhythm of life. So when we understand that we are embodied beings, that our organisms functions based on the flows and the rhythms of life, then we can get so much more out of what we do in a very natural, organic way, just the same way that a surfer rides the wave 
We're not forcing something into it. We're allowing it to happen and skillfully guiding it, taming it, harnessing it.